church used him for a great testimony. I go over to the yeah. Gospel of Matthew, yeah. and on one day yeah. uh, there was a Christ Savior that came. Uh, uh, that John yeah. the Baptist said, "I'm not worthy to even yeah. uh, loose yeah. his shoes. Yeah. I indeed baptize you with water, uh, uh, but he told us that will baptize you in the fire of the Holy Ghost." Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and just in a little while, church, uh, uh, buddy Jesus showed up. Uh, uh, praise the name of God, and I, uh, uh, He didn't show up halfway. Uh, uh, he didn't show yeah. up part of the way. Uh, uh, praise the name of God. Uh, he showed all the way up. Amen. Amen. Church, he took him out, uh, and Thanks he looked at John the Baptist, uh, and he said, uh, uh, "You gotta do it, uh, uh, buddy." John booked up. Uh, uh, church, I want to tell you something. Uh, if you're gonna be saved, uh, you gotta go through the mud. Yeah. And he said, John, it's got to be done. Uh, the scripture said it. Uh, it's been prophesied. Uh, uh, baptize me. Uh, and John dumped him under the water. A uh, uh, church I went into an old Episcopalian church once. Uh, and they showed Jesus being sprinkled. Uh, uh, they showed the old priest yeah. throwing water on him. Uh, I want to tell you right now, church. A uh, uh, buddy, when Jesus died on the cross, a uh, uh, buddy, he didn't drop just a little blood. Uh, yeah. uh, he didn't spit a little yeah. spit. Yeah. Uh, uh, he didn't die a partial death. Uh, uh, praise God, he dumped him yeah. uh, and covered him with the water. Uh, and when he got up, uh, uh, that little dove, uh, yeah. uh, praise God, it came down uh, and lighted up on Jesus' yeah. shoulders. Uh, and church God himself said, uh, uh, this is my son. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to tell you, if you're here tonight, you're lost. Uh, uh, you need to die to learn on you tonight. Yeah. Uh, and praise yeah. God, sprinkle you and baptize you in the fire of the Holy Ghost and God will save you when he comes in the house that way. Amen and amen to my church. Amen. I don't know your condition here tonight, but would it be great to say, I started out 2011 a sinner, but praise God, I ended it born again. I'm going to tell you, God can move tonight. He can save you. He'll let him. Amen and amen to my church. If Brother Jeremy comes to preach. Uh, we want to give him all the freedom that we can possibly Amen. give him. Brother Jeremy, I'm going to tell you, we got food over there. But if it spoils, you just let it spoil. Amen. Because what we're eating here tonight is called the bread of life. Yeah. Amen. That over there, it will nourish your body for just a short time. But when I got a hold of Jesus, it satisfied the very yeah. core of who I was. And then I, if you get a hold of that tonight, you go home a happy That's man, right. a boy woman or girl, it don't matter. Jesus Christ, he's the reason tonight that you're here. You just got to put your faith in him tonight. So brother Jeremy, you just follow the Lord. Amen. I want everybody to pray with me now if you would. Lord, Father, I thank you so much God for your spirit that's been in the house. God, you blessed us with such talent. God blessed us with such great spirit. God, you blessed us now in song and church. We have rejoiced together with Christ in the spirit. But God, Father, now we come to my favorite part. And God, that's your word. I'm through the preaching of your word. I'm church. I'm through the preaching of the gospel. I'm through the foolishness of it. Christ was exalted. And I was drawn unto him. And tonight I pray that you use Brother Jeremy as he comes. God, fill his heart with freedom. And with your words, God, I let it flow from his mouth. And church don't bind him in any way. God, I pray that you set him free. And church like old Paul, if we fall off dead in the middle of the hour, you send him down to heal us and raise us up to that church. Because God's in the house. And when God's moving, we can be saved. We give you praise and glory for all things in Jesus' name. And amen. Brother, you can come follow the Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Bible with you this afternoon. Open them to the book of uh, book of Genesis. Uh, the first book of the Bible. If you open them to the book of Genesis in the ninth chapter. <coughs> I 
I would just kind of pick up where Keaton left off and show you how the Lord works and how the Lord knows what's going on. I had something completely different, Mark, to preach. You know, my wife did as she does oftentimes. She told me just follow my heart and just preach it. Um, it's a good thing the food's already been prepared because after we get done with this one, mine might have been spitting. <laughs> uh, that's all right, y'all. Just pray for us. We be bold and follow the Lord. Um, I, I love every one of you. Um, I'm no better than any of you. I'm just a sinner saved by the grace of God. I'm thankful for it. This church is special to me. Um, Brother Keaton's special to me, and all of you all are, and William and Sharon, and I can keep on going, David, and many others here. Uh, we were a part of what I consider to be the, the greatest service of my life, and uh, we had four teenagers from this church saved in one night, and uh, well, that's uh, but more so than any of us being there, Jesus Christ was there, and I believe he's here tonight. Yeah. And uh, that's what's mandatory for you to be saved, that's not right. uh, not Pastor Smith, uh, right. uh, not me, or anything else. So this is Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> you pray for us tonight as we try to preach uh, over in the, the ninth chapter, the twentieth verse. It says, "And Noah began to be a husband, and he planted him a vineyard, and uh, he drank of the wine and was drunken, and he was uncovered within his tent." And Ham, uh, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren without. Sham and, and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon both of their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father. And their faces were backward and they saw not their father's nakedness. Dear Heavenly Father, dear Lord, uh, we got this thought on our heart a long time ago, Lord. I didn't know when you'd have us to preach it. Uh, still standing here right now, I'm not sure the direction you'd have us to go. But we found, dear Lord, that when we trust in you the most, that's when you do your best preaching, dear Lord. And I'm thankful for this church. And I pray tonight there be one here and lost, dear Lord, uh, just that they would uh, accept you as their personal Savior. I know you're willing and just not to save their soul. It's in Jesus' precious name I do pray. Amen. <laughs> And uh, while we kind of wait on the Lord for just a moment, we want to thank uh, uh, for just a little while about uh, Noah here. I uh, know uh, that uh, uh, once I used to say everybody knows this story, and I ran into a man the other day, and uh, uh, he said, I hate it when a preacher says, well, everybody knows this one. He said, because maybe not everybody does. Uh, so tonight, I'll tell you a little bit about Noah. Um, he was a man who was up uh, up in years, uh, way up in years, and uh, uh, began to build uh, the ark for the Lord. The Lord told him a flood was coming. Uh, uh, we believe tonight that he preached uh, uh, righteousness, and he yeah, preached yeah. Uh, uh, the flood was coming. We yeah. believe uh, uh, that he done this uh, uh, just uh, uh, as the Bible, and, and just as dedicatedly as he built this ark. I, I believe he preached the gospel. I, I believe he told them the flood was coming. I, oh, listen tonight. I, if we need anything in America, I, I, we need some preachers yeah. I, I to preach the flood's coming. Yeah. I, I to preach I, I, that Lord Jesus Christ is coming back yeah. to this yeah. earth. I, I won't, I, it's not dependent tonight upon the end of the Maya calendar. I, it's not yeah. dependent tonight yeah. upon the end of the month. Yeah. I, well, the Bible says today that I, I, no man no, yeah. Uh, uh, listen, boy, uh, uh, one time in the Gospels, uh, uh, the disciples came up uh, and inquired of Jesus. Uh, and Jesus said, uh, uh, not even the angels uh, in heaven know the hour. Uh, only God uh, uh, knows the hour. Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, you want to talk about holy doctrine? Uh, you want to talk about something straight from the pits of hell? Uh, uh, that's if somebody or not uh, is telling you uh, uh, they know when the world's going to end. Uh, my Bible teaches me today is the day of salvation. Yeah. Uh, my heart, not your heart. Uh, I'm convinced uh, uh, that this message uh, is to be preached uh, as if this is the worst uh, opportunity uh, you'll ever have. Uh, uh, listen, folks, uh, I believe you're not. That uh, uh, we need to get a fear back uh, in our lives. Uh, the Bible says over in the book of Acts, uh, uh, on the day of Pentecost was happening, uh, and Peter began to look for an explanation. Uh, he rolled back in his mind. Uh, under the book of Proverbs, and he said, under oh, the word of God said, under oh, the last day, he'll pour his spirit out. It's written in the book of Acts, and everything written in the book is divinely inspired. Oh, my God. So God impressed him to be written in the book of Acts. It is God impressed him to be written. Oh, surely, if 2,000 years ago was the last day, how much closer? Uh, must we be? Uh, how much uh, or not? Uh, how much uh, more uh, must we be concerned uh, about 
somebody about earth and sun. If we'll shout and shout. Yeah. Yeah. If we'll shout and yeah. shout. Yeah. 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 Hey, listen, boy. It's high time. Oh, we'll wait. Oh, we'll sleep and shout. Stop worrying about what the world thinks. Yeah. And start worrying about pleasing God. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. Thanks, you, you pray for us and we'll be able to preach in a little while. I won't tap not much for title the message. Oh, but the Lord told me to. Oh, my wife don't like it when I title on Susan. Oh, but listen, I worry about pleasing Christy a little bit. Oh, but I worry about pleasing God more. Oh, but listen, I'm sitting in that chair. Oh, Lord, the Lord began to tell me. He said, I want you to preach this message. And I want you to preach it in no other Baptist. Oh, listen. Are you praying for us for just a little while? I just lost half of them right there. I'm over thinking right now. I'm about no. And how I see it. How he built this ark. How he told. How he worked. I'm over. I'm building up. All the time come when the Lord shut the door. All what was in the ark. I was knowing all the and what was left out was the rest of the world. Well, there was two by two of every animal that God intended to save. Oh, listen. Oh, it was left on the outside of the ark. Oh, they weren't there. Oh, because someone just got a told them it had to stay there. Oh, they were on the outside of the ark. I won't do the wrong. If you go lost enough and open your eyes as the rich man did. In the gospel, in the devil's head, you do it tonight because you chose to decline a so great salvation, able to save tonight from the small to the top, able tonight to save the black and the white, the Jew and the Gentile, the male and the female, able tonight to save a boat, anybody, or it'll get down on their knees. Oh, Lord, I know as he sat there and them old men 
I began to pound the door. I live on the street. There's people I was trying to save their children. There's people was trying to stay afloat as they were climbing under the highest mountain tops they could find. Under the highest peaks as they were grabbing a hold of things that were float. Can you imagine today how thankful I didn't know it must have been. I preach hell a whole lot of candlelights. I'm sure some of the church people are wondering why they hear so much about hell. It do the Christian good. I don't look around and see how God's blessed them. Yeah. I don't hell and go to heaven. Yeah. It's good around me. I don't realize how bad all the sinners got it. Yeah. Listen, the world will paint you a picture tonight yeah. that the sinners live in the dream. I'm all down in New York City. I'll they all drop a ball out. I'll they all be drunk and skunk tired and tight. Yeah. And they'll look at us and say, we're crazy. Hey, listen, yeah. I'm waiting for a ball to drop. Yeah. 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 That's crazy to me. Yeah. Yeah. That's not crazy. He's real. Yeah. 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 We sit preaching, brother. There's no uh, uh, sitting in this ark and no uh, voice of the game. And the one thing I don't know real well about this story is the part of the Keaton preach. That shows you how God's got things hooked up. Oh, this uh, uh, as he sat there and he began uh, to go up and then he began uh, to go back on his way down. Ain't that the way it happens to that? Uh, when you first get saved, oh, uh, well, uh, you're floating around. Uh, just on cloud. Mind, hey, 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 Oh, you attend Wednesday night service also. Oh, you're just a floating around. A cloud night. Can't get enough of God. Can't get enough of His words. And lo and behold, one day Brother Keaton comes in here. I'm preaching something you don't like. I'm preaching something. Oh, it's a contrary to the way you like to live. You get puffed up at Keaton. I'm mad at him. I'm backward at him. I'm on the ship. I begins to sink back. I begins to sit back. The old Satan begins to take. I see, I told you you couldn't live. I told you you couldn't do it. I listen, what? Keaton's not preaching it because he dislikes it. He's preaching it because he loves you. Amen. 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 Because he loves you. I've never preached nothing to nobody because I didn't like them. I wanted to run them off. Boys, if I preach to you to be saved, it's because I don't want you to go to hell. If I preach to you to get baptized, it's because God's wanting to use you in the church. If I preach to you to come on Wednesday night, it's because somebody needs a good service on Wednesday night. Starting with your pastor. Amen. It's not to make you mad. Boy, it ain't. I'll tell you that. Noah began to sink down on that ship. And Noah began to drop. That's the Lord the Bible. You keep praying for it tonight. As he began to drop. That's the Lord the Bible. He does not keep. I was preaching to you about. He sent the doves out. And then they brought back the branch. He knew that it was safe to enter in. I'll just go ahead and preach him my heart. That's all right, Brother Keaton. I remember. I'm traveling around. I'm looking for a place to go to church. You want to know what I'm how to improve Liberty Missionary Baptist Church. You know what I was looking for? I was looking for the love of Jesus Christ. I'm old I'll tell you, it started by looking for the name Baptist on the door. You might say, oh well, preacher, why are you saying that? You know what? I looked for the name Baptist on the door because how they were supposed to line up doctrinally with me. I said to the Pope, to line up doctrinally with me. I'm in the Baptist church. Oh, well, boys, I ain't forgotten what the Baptist religion is supposed to stand for. I'm not for a name. I'm not for a Baptist holy. But by my imagination, it's supposed to stand for the Bible. Yeah, amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Don't worry long why. Baptists get on board with this new movement. Well, this bothers so many of them, so we'll just change this name. Bless the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah, that's right. Well, I lost another third of them. <laughs> this bothers them. 
Amen. So we'll just change this part. Amen. Right? We'll put it in a new book with new words that our kids can understand. Yes, Lord. We'll stop preaching the blood. Amen. 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 I'll tell you now, you can't preach grace, you can't preach mercy, and you can't preach love without preaching the blood. Yes. Amen. 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 Right. That's the truth, brother. Well, I tell you, we'll stop preaching hell. That scares our kids into getting saved. Boy, that's how I got saved. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. That's how I got it. I know how I got it. I got it because I didn't want to die in your yeah. yeah. That's right. Bless him, Lord. And you know what I found? When I found out I didn't want to die and go to hell, I found that there was a Savior that loved yeah. me. Yeah. He died for me. Yeah. I remember one day, and I knew I was going to say this. I just used to go in and work. I started to open up with it. But boys, I wanted to follow along. I remember one year, about New Year's time, I only got down to Christmas and that. I'd opened up my gifts, and I was happy as could be. But one night, I began to lay down in my bed. I boys, I had my latest edition of NBA Jam Team. I had my Super Nintendo, and I had all the young man could ever want. Keep I thought, yes, I, I walked, I, my Christmas had been good to me. Oh, yes, I, but I began to lay down on my bed, and something was different. I thought, well, this is a new year, and last year was another year, and next year will be a next year. Oh, then when's it in? Oh, when's it over? Oh, what happens? Where do I go? Oh, what do I do? Oh, well, listen, I started to ask those questions, and I I'm on top. I'm not every answer. I'm not found the answer. Yes, and that is, if you know Jesus Christ, oh, you'll not fear that. Yeah. You'll not fear his coming. Yeah. Oh, you'll have no worries. Yeah. Amen. Bless, Bless the Lord. Lord. My Bless little kids, uh, they love to watch Lion King. <laughs> you ever watch the kids? Oh, yeah. They sing that Akuna Matata. <laughs> Y'all hear it, Hannah, Sharon? Yeah. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> They're just two years old. They begin to sing that song. And I love to hear them say, that. Boy, you want to meet somebody that can really say Kuna Matata? You want me a Christian? Once you know they're going to hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. What have we got to fear? That's right. Why do we have to work? You know, last year, since the way I've done this one last year at Sinking Valley, I've lost my job. My wife lost her job. We sat around and waited and prayed for jobs. Turned down jobs, and I'm not patting myself on the back because Lord knows it was the help of the Lord that allowed me to do it. Turned down jobs that required working second shift. Don't want to miss church. Yeah, that's right. Wednesday night church. All oh, people would pat you on the back and say, Well, preacher, I oh, don't worry about that. It's just Wednesday night. That's what's wrong with the Baptist church. Yeah, it's, right. Right. it's just Wednesday night. Yeah. Yeah. Bless you. Bless you. Amen. Bless you. Oh, it's just Wednesday night, just Sunday night, boys. We, what's that matter? My wife one time had her mind set that she was going to take a job working on, on second shift. She walked in one of our uh, uh, new members there at the church, came rich, and she looked at him. She was telling about her job. She was on cloud nine, excited about the possibility of becoming employed again. Hey, hey. And she was telling him all about this job. And she looked at him and she said, uh, uh, well, I said, what about church? She looked at him and she said, how can I say how can I? How can I tell him, yeah, I'm going to take it? I understand circumstances. Don't get me wrong. But understand also that the pastor of the church don't care about a Wednesday night service Christ the church. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 That's the truth tonight. Amen. Boy, I tell you, I want to be lazy every now and then too. How easy would it be? This is Willie Vernon Logan over here. We got to sit aside to be a deacon right here. How easy would it be to say, Brother Willie, I, I'm coming Wednesday night. I, I'm just going to let you teach. Yeah. Right? Yes, sir. Well, boys, I don't know about liberty, but I'll tell you, I can't wrench Missionary Baptist Church. I, I need all the gospel preaching they can get. Yeah. Yeah. It's still needed. Bless yeah. the Lord. Hey. You pray for us for just a little while. No, as the water began to recede, as he got out of that ark, uh, God made a cup with him. Uh, God told him he'd never destroy the uh, world that way again. Uh, didn't say he'd never destroy it. I uh, would say he'd never destroy it that way again. Uh, put the rainbow up. Uh, oh, 
this is all right, Keith. What is preacher art? Uh, two or three years ago, I was talking about a uh, story of my wife, and my wife said, uh, oh, that's where the rainbow come from. And we began to talk about it. And she said, oh, the gays and the lizzies. I said, that's their symbol. I said, it's the rainbow. I said, because they're resting on the assurance that God said he'd never destroy the world that way again. I listen, boy, I don't know where they got the symbol from. I don't know who I deal it was. But I'll tell you, I ain't got in your head. There's an old man sitting in the world walking to and fro, seeking that which he made of all. His name did not his Satan. And listen, boy, he planted that in somebody's head to convince them it was okay to do such fornication. I listen, boy, I don't believe they can't be saved. I don't believe they can't be washed away. I just believe that they need to be saved. Amen. 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 That's right. Bless you, buddy. Amen. Amen. That's old fashioned. That's old timey. Yeah. You might not like it, but it's still the Bible. Amen. 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 We see tonight that the churches are bending over backwards to accommodate to people, to acquire tithes. The churches will uh, uh, throw down more and they'll throw down what's right to acquire an offering plate, a new building, and a fancy pew. Listen, boys, I'm mad about it for here with new buildings and fancy pews and Listen, offering plates. Listen, Listen, yes, we need Jesus, don't we, boys? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Right. Yeah. Listen, yeah. If we've got that tonight, and we've got all we need. Yeah. Yeah. I was told uh, uh, when that the uh, building set on fire over there, uh, uh, that used to be the old church. Uh, uh, listen, uh, I don't care uh, if every one of us had to go over there and cram in the uh, 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 Listen, uh, you might not be comfortable, uh, uh, but you'd have Jesus. Uh, yeah. That's all you need. Yeah. 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 That's right. That's right. We well, see tonight, and this is the reason why the message is titled Noah the Baptist. Oh, uh, you hopped out that ark. Me and Keaton talked about this oh, two or three months ago. Me and Keaton, he hopped out that ark, and the first thing uh, that he began to do uh, was he began uh, to plant him in a vineyard. Uh, the Bible says he decided uh, he was going to be a gardener. Uh, let's just put it on uh, plain language. He passed it over here. He's got a little strawberry patch. You know, not preaching. Right. He likes to work in it. Yeah. Yeah. Got many of a good message for you. I'm uh, uh, down on his knees in that old strawberry patch. Uh, hey, but listen, boy, uh, uh, he went out uh, and he planted this old thing. Uh, and he began uh, uh, to make his wife. Uh, and he drunk uh, uh, his wine until he got drunk. Uh, and he began uh, uh, to pass out in his tent. Uh, uh, he been through uh, uh, all this salvation. Uh, he'd been through uh, uh, the entire flood. Uh, he'd been through uh, uh, the building of the ark. Uh, he'd been through uh, uh, the preaching of the gospel. Uh, he'd been through uh, all those things. Uh, am I reminding you of anybody yet? Uh, 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 you've been through uh, salvation. You've been through uh, uh, the flood. Uh, uh, you've been through uh, uh, the sharing of the gospel. Uh, uh, you've been through uh, all those things. Uh, hey, but listen, uh, 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 it happens. Uh, uh, to each and every one of them. Yeah. Uh, I don't know flesh uh, uh, seeks in uh, and a list uh, of all time. Uh, he hops straight out the ark uh, and begin uh, uh, to drink. Uh, uh, no, uh, uh, yeah. uh, yeah. uh, oh no, this is how sin gets in. I listen. I won't slowly uh, day by day. Uh, a little seed was right. planted uh, yeah. and it began to grow uh, and it began to mature. Oh yeah. uh, wait, yeah. uh, everybody's quiet right now. Uh, preacher's preaching on the scene. I uh, oh, listen. Uh, 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 Seed began to grow. Oh, that's how Satan works today. Yeah. Oh, wait. He puts a little seed in your mind. He puts a little seed in your church. He puts a little seed in your place of employment. He gets that little seed plant. Oh, well, Lord, this world is more than able to the water and the nurture and help it grow. That's my lesson. Before you know, the Bible says, Oh, the little foxes. Oh, the little foxes. Is it destroy the light? Yeah. Oh, those little small seeds. Yeah. Oh, well, they begin to water. And they begin to hoe. And they begin to prune up. Yeah. And then you know, a sin's growing into a great vine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those things, yeah. oh, they will leave you. Oh, like Noah, I passed out somewhere in a tent. Oh, God, has got enough of those that are passed out yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. are able. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I ain't gonna move, I said. I'm afraid of the Holy Ghost. I'm afraid of the Word of God. Oh, listen, boy, I'm not all for 
putting on a show and acting crazy, but I still believe in the power of God. Amen. 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 Understand tonight. I stand up here before you uh, just like Noah. I'll preach to your righteousness. And sooner or later, if you watch me and you watch my life, I don't know how many lost people I've heard use the excuse. I, I put my faith in old brother so and so. I caught him down there stealing this. Or caught him cheating on his wife. Or caught him doing all these things. I'll let me first I'll break it down for you. And let me tell you that Keaton Brad Smith is no different than Jeremy when I listen, folks. Oh, we're Listen, just Lord. a man. Yeah. I called my God to preach yeah. the gospel. Yeah. If you're looking for salvation in Keaton Smith, you're looking in the wrong place. Yeah. Yeah. If you're looking for it in Jerry Lacker, oh, well, Lord, yeah. you're looking in the wrong place. Yeah. 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 Let's preach a religion yeah. all the way around. It'll take you right straight to the devil's hell. Yeah. 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 If you get the real thing, you'll not get it from Keaton. Yeah. Yeah. You'll not get it from me. Yeah. Yeah. You'll not get it from a Bible study. Yeah. And you'll not get it from the book. You'll get it from the Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Listen, yeah. Oh, you watch me long enough. I sooner or later you'll see me passed out somewhere uh, from the old burden of this world. Uh, Paul That's said, right. I died daily. He said, I wasn't this thorn in my flesh should be removed. Uh, listen, boys, uh, sooner or later uh, you'll see man fail. Uh, you might think uh, they're great. Uh, you might think uh, they're really something. Uh, the Bible says uh, over in the book uh, of Samuel, I believe it's saying it's it. Uh, that David was a man after God's own heart. Uh, but, uh, uh, listen, he walked out to the rooftop one day. Uh, uh, see, uh, a woman, uh, a maiden, uh, began to lust after her in his heart. Uh, uh, let that uh, a little seed get watered. Uh, uh, let that little seed grow. Uh, uh, the Bible doesn't tell me uh, uh, how many times uh, he walked out there. Uh, how many times uh, he might have turned and walked away. Uh, uh, listen, boys, uh, he just kept the water. He just kept the hope. It's step of proof. And yeah. one day, uh, uh, she grew uh, to the point where he got drunk on it. Uh, yeah. uh, listen, uh, if he'd been where he's supposed to have been to start with, uh, it never happened. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. I'm preaching on the yeah. Baptist right yeah. now. Uh, get yourselves in church. Yeah. Get yourselves in the Bible. Yeah. Get yourselves in prayer. Uh, yeah. And you'll get where you're supposed to be. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I tell you, I'm down about 5% with me right now. <laughs> yes, Thank you. Oh, they know I was passed out. Like I said, he's just a man. Oh, boy. No salvation come through no. I ain't no salvation come through no. Ain't no salvation come through no. It'll come through the blood. Yeah, that's right. That's how it'll come. Yes, sir, Obviously, right. no was passed out. And listen, boys, you can be like no son. There's two options tonight. When you see your brother that's in danger. When you see your brother that's maybe fell out of fellowship with the Lord. Oh, you can do one of two things. Oh, you can go and you can look at his nakedness. You can look at his sin. And you can do like his first Sunday. And you can get out here and you can tell the world about it. Or you can do like his other boys did. Oh, you can come in. Oh, you can back up back. I believe they had their eyes closed by Sharon. I believe they backed up with that cover. And they covered him over. And when they looked at their dad, oh, they seen the covering. Yeah, listen to I'll tell you, when God sees yes. He Amen. sees the coming. Amen. 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 Stand, we want to run around here and say, Oh, did you see old so and so what they're doing? Have you seen where they've been? Have you seen what they've done? They won't give prayer requests and say, Pray for so and so's granddaughter. She done went and got knocked up with two babies, and the man won't work. And we'll say all those things. Hey, listen, boys, we need to stop talking about each other. Yes. Start in the barrier. Yeah. Amen. 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 Well, I think. What a church service that would be. No, Bible don't say that he was Baptist, but I believe he was. Because he does the same thing that we do. He went through salvation. He went through the flood. And he was happy where he was at. And then when he got a moment's free time, he began to plant and sow the seed. That happens in our lives. 
I told him the other day, and rich. And we keep, I said, I promise the Baptist that I can't preach this. Listen, people, the last thing I want to do is stand before judgment and explain to you, explain to the Lord why that I preached it. If your name's on a church book, or that if you feel confident about salvation, you're going to heaven, or that if you've been baptized, you'll not hear that come out. Listen, listen, voice, man. listen Lord. Listen, now I'm preaching to you about no soul salvation. About something you've got right here. Yes, sir. Something that you know that is eternal. Yeah, something yeah. that you know that will never leave. Yeah, man. Right, man. I'm preaching to you now about the real thing. That's right. It doesn't come by man. It doesn't come by a church. It doesn't even come by a teary eyed prayer. It comes today. In uh, your heart, in your soul, realize that just like Noah, you're laying here now. You're laying here now. <coughs> That's what I'm saying. Adam and Eve never knew they were naked in the garden until they sinned. Preach it, brother. Preach it, brother. Until they sinned. Yeah. David and Anna, I told you about my little two year old. Well, David, if he had his way, he'd run around buck naked everywhere. David. <laughs> That's just what he wants to do. He puts her underwear on him, he'll take him off. I thought if I skinned him down to this underwear, I could contain him with him. But I didn't keep them off. Listen, he'll take them up. He'll run around, but he don't know it's wrong. Hey, that's the way our children are. They don't know what sin is. They don't know it's wrong. But there comes a time when you don't understand. What well, love you can't run around there. Hey, Amen. Yeah. There came a time when I understood as a young boy, right around the New Year's holiday, I was just saying we're going to last forever. Yeah. I'm not going to breathe in here on this earth forever. Okay. I'm not going to live here forever. Right. It's coming to an end. Yeah. One way or another. Yeah. Whether the good Lord takes me up or whether he comes back. Yeah. It's going to end. Amen. It is crucial tonight. But you have the cover. Yeah. You have the cover. All the world, they might look at you like you're naked. But Jesus Christ sees you tonight. He sees the blood. He Amen. sees the cover. Amen. You've been saved. I'm thankful for that precious blood tonight. I heard your pastor say one time that he was a grace peddler. I'll tell you, if you need uh, somebody to unload on, on everything that's wrong in my life, my wife's got a few minutes to do her refreshments. Just round her up there and ask her about all my shortcomings. I'm sure she's got a notebook somewhere. <laughs> Listen tonight. I know that I'm saved. I know that I'm coming. I know that if I leave here, I'm going to heaven. If you don't know that tonight, well, what better opportunity? And what better chance? I'm going to turn it back over to you. Good pastor right now. Well, you just follow the Lord. Whatever you feel know, that do. Miss Jackie, we play the piano for us. We want to get some invitation. Church, let's all stand. Somebody here might need to pray tonight. Somebody might need to come and get saved. I don't know what's on your heart. But you, if you're here and you're lost, and God's not in your heart right now is an opportunity to get saved. Right now is the day of salvation. You know, it, it, 